Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, we're here to share our fun, love, and passion for all things Disney with you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, give a big thumbs up and share. Yeah, so what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about something that made me terrified to go to Disney World. So I have a severe gluten allergy. I do have celiac disease and not knowing how I was going to be able to handle that allergy at a theme park that, you know, serves 80,000 guests a day was overwhelming and terrifying. But I'm here to tell you that Disney actually makes it easier to have a food allergy than some of my local restaurants do. That's very true. Absolutely. So, so how do they do that? All right. Well, there's a number of things that Disney does. All right, Disney has always let you bring in your own food to the park, you know, no glass, no alcohol. But if you did have kind of a food allergy, you do have the option to go ahead and bring food that you know is safe. So that's kind of nice. Um, when you make a dining reservation though, guys, they list off like all kinds of food allergies that you can go ahead and check and say, hey, I have this allergy, hey, I have this allergy. That way the chefs know beforehand that you're coming in and that they're gonna need to do something. One of the things that I really like that, that because you can bring food into the park is that you're able to actually plan for that with your snacks. Absolutely. So uh, I don't have a food allergy. Um, thank goodness, Lucky. but Morgan and I, I mean, we're able to go get the Mickey shaped uh, Rice Krispie treat or, you know, the, yes. the caramel apple and not, and not even question it. Just, we just get it. But you, on the other hand, you have to plan accordingly. So yeah, I do if, have to question everything yep. and because so celiac disease, it's not just a, a gluten allergy. It can have other symptoms too. Um, so I really have to watch out for artificial flavorings and colors, yep. which is hard when you want to get, you know, like the that nice ice creamy treat and it looks really good but no you can't have it so what's the most important thing to do if you're not sure the most important thing to do is talk to the chef guys you can do that at a quick service restaurant you can do that at a sit down restaurant they will come out they will discuss your allergy with you um, and especially because when i went back to disney world with celiac it was very very prone to cross contamination so i'd be in huge amounts of pain a buffet situation was totally scary because yeah. if if the you know the gluten had moved around the dishes and and people just it, it just happens right um but yeah then i would get end up feeling sick by the end of the meal so realizing that even going to a buffet which i guess COVID's kind of squashed that right now um but they would actually go into the kitchen and make me my own special food yeah and so they would get you neat. multiple plates if you oh, yeah. wanted more than just one mm -hmm. serving of something so th again they're making it from Super scratch easy. for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then then you get restaurants that I just adore, like Cosmic Rays. Yes. And I adore Cosmic Rays because they have a dedicated gluten-free kitchen, which means for somebody who's not really been able to eat fast food for the past like three, four years, being able to have a burger or a grilled chicken, you know, club is priceless to me i really enjoy it and it's not just that it's a gluten-free kitchen it's a food allergy it is kitchen a food, it's a dedicated food allergy kitchen where yep. they are totally watching everything that's going on how awesome is that it is awesome i love it now mobile order you might be thinking how's that going to work with the food allergy disney makes it easy they do all right you can scroll all the way up on that menu and at the very bottom of it you're going to find where it's going to say hey this is egg allergy friendly or this is milk allergy friendly or this is gluten allergy friendly and you shellfish fish allergy friendly they got tons of options to let you know this is what you can't eat so if you ever get into a situation where you're sitting down to a nice dinner like storybook dining at artist point wilderness lodge and they bring you the menu and you start thinking to yourself ah you want me to pay sixty dollars for chicken? <laughs> All right, because that was my that was my reaction, y'all, when she we almost went there last fit. December. Yeah, I was just about to cry on the menu because I mean I like chicken, but I don't like sixty dollar chicken. No, okay, and they I had prime that rib on the menu. Oh, I had all kinds of stuff that should have oh, been it's... gluten free and gluten yeah. friendly. Well, thank goodness, because you know the poor waiter came over. He's like, "How are you doing?" And I'm like, "Not good, not good at all." <laughs> and he's just like. And it took him a couple of minutes to, or a couple of seconds to realize that I just said I wasn't doing good at all. And then he's like, what's wrong? He's like, I have, I have, you know, I have a gluten allergy and I don't want chicken. And I was like, I don't, I don't want chicken. So he was able to really just revamp this whole entire menu. The kitchen was great. Got my prime rib, some of the best prime rib I've ever had. It was amazing. So just remember, 
even if it's not on the menu, if you see something that really catches your eye, um, then go ahead and do ask, hey, can you make these guys gluten friendly? And a lot of times, or you're allergy friendly too, but a lot of times they would be able to accommodate you. Well, and just to piggyback on that, so like in the prime ribs dish, um, there was a piece of bread on that came with the dinner. Yeah. That's why it's not gluten free. All they did was simply not put that on there and the rest of the dish was gluten free. free. So little things like that. Now, yeah. in the case of Be Our Guest, when we ate oh, there. Oh wow, that was phenomenal. They, they actually, yeah. <laughs> they just made me like a whole separate brand new appetizer. Wasn't even on the menu. It wasn't even on the menu. They created Chef a Manny dish. Chef created it and brought it out to me. <laughs> he was awesome. I mean, my appetizer was the best. Out it, of the whole meal. I mean, it, it literally bears away. Yeah, it literally stole um, the show. So yeah. just because they they are truly creative culinary artists at Disney. And they are. whether it's at a quick service or, or sit down, these guys are top notch all the way. They totally are. Which reminds me of something else. So bonus tip. All right. The reason that they had to create so many new things for me to be our guest was the fact that they were using wines that had sulfites and sulfates in them, which I have an issue with. And so they were just like, we're just gonna start from scratch. We're just gonna make this for you. So the other thing to know is if you do have an allergy, know what kind of alcohol you can have. Yep. Um, Cause like, I know that color, like flavored rums, all right, are generally not good. I'm um, like Malibu coconut rum, which is what they use in a lot of the Dole Whip is not good. Well, the parrots, boozy Dole Whip. The boozy Dole Whip. <laughs> the Parrot's Bay is gluten-free but they don't use it but they do but a they dark do, room they do at certain resorts yep they're, they're migrating over to parrots bay or they've already switched and the dark rum is good to go yeah I like myers know. dark rum if you want to do like a dark rum dole whip um yeah that's totally so, safe the theme of all of this guys ask if ask, you're not 100 percent sure yes. just ask they can tell you they can get somebody to tell you and if it's not something that they can just serve as is more than likely, there's an alternative way to do it for you. Absolutely. And they're really, really super good about it. And I can assure you that you're never going to feel like a second-rate citizen because never. you have a food allergy. No way. They actually make you feel like royalty yeah, because you have a food allergy. You it's... totally get all this you know, special treatment. And there's everything's some... fresh. Like yes. It's like super hot and fresh. It's like... Big just for me. I was thinking about just ordering gluten-free one time because it's amazing. <laughs> the food still tastes absolutely wonderful. It does. It and it's really so does. hot and fresh. So yeah, that's just been my experience with like I said, having celiac disease and really how Disney has made that easy for me to deal with in a public setting. Yep. Because I can't, you know, bye bye fast food, bye bye lots of processed foods and still I'm able to go to the parks and the cruise. Yep. And had a really great time on the cruise too, but was able to enjoy the food and eat the food. Yeah. So thank you, Mickey. Yeah. So that just goes to show Disney is looking out for everybody yeah. and they want everybody to enjoy their parks, everybody to enjoy their food. And as so many people do, a lot of vacations are spent around some of the, the yeah. dining experiences that you can have. Absolutely. So Disney like sitting down as a family and yep. reconnecting and, you know, just having that peaceful time to be with each other. And Disney's definitely capitalized on that and they yeah. hear your food allergies. So Absolutely. just make sure. If you're not 100% sure, ask, 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 and they'll tell you every single time. So guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hope this was super helpful. I know, and if you like the video, smash the subscribe button. Yeah, and hit the like button and share the video for, Absolutely. for anybody that you know that may have a food allergy or is looking to do a trip and they're not sure how yeah. it's going to work for them. Uh, hopefully this answers a lot of those questions. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.